pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another video here on BAOS this evening in the final, I guess you want to say, just over 24 hours of 2018. We figure, you know what? Let's break down our top 10 beers of 2018. We recently did our top 10 podcast episodes as voted by you. Uh, if you haven't seen that, link in the description or pop up a card and all that nonsense. Um, so 2018 has been a really good year for beer, guys. Uh, as you would know, um, we've been blessed to travel quite a bit this year. Um, you know, we went to Australia, to Texas, uh, Vermont, um, New York, Colorado, uh, around Quebec and Ontario, like a decent amount of places and I got to drink a significant amount of beers. I'm not too sure exactly, probably looking at like a thousand or twelve hundred different unique beers that I reviewed. So going back over my uh, beers for 2018, uh, just looking through my Instagram really is all I did. Um, it's, it was super, super difficult to put this list together. Um, absolutely not as simple as I thought. Uh, first of all, what I am drinking right this minute, this is something I picked up from Toronto the other day, the so-called Pilsner from uh, Muddy York Brewing. Um, fantastic, nice and opaque, ready. They were actually, I guess I'm drinking this one because I'm loving Crispy Boys right now. So what I did, I went through all my Instagram posts and looked at all the different beers that I drank everywhere. Um, I was trying to be fairly, I guess, harsh with it, because I know there's so many beers that were so good that I could have had a list literally of hundreds of beers. So I had a list of 30 that I picked the top 10. So I'm gonna really quickly rattle off the, um, uh, the bottom 20 at the end. Um, but it was really difficult for me to do this because there's beers from pretty much everywhere I've been um, this year, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, this is, I don't know, if, I've seen a few people do like count down a top 10 and I was like, man, I don't know how you did that. This is in no particular order. It's actually in reverse order of drinking. So it's sort of, I just went from the top of my Instagram, the latest post down to the start. So the first one was one of the latest beers I had and then the last one of the top 10 was one of the earliest beers this year that I had. So the first of my top 10 beers of 2018, it was Barn Cat's Stab Ghost. Uh, we drank that with Hillary from Pretty Penny on episode, do you remember what episode it was? It was 114? 14? 14, sounds about right, yeah. Um, Fantastic beer. She brought it in a growler. It was uh, there was a second of two IPAs that she brought from Barn Cat. Out of control. So so good. I it kind of ruined my life because now I want to drink that all the time. Uh, next one was Bar Canada's L'Aspiration, which was their first Pilsner. Um, this was probably my favorite Pilsner of the year. I had a lot this year. Uh, this one was my favorite. It was quite expensive. It was like seven dollars fifty for a can of Pilsner, which you know depending on how, what, the, what, I don't know why it was so expensive, I'd love to ask them, but mate, who cares, it was phenomenal. Uh, out of control, I haven't seen it since, so I really hope they bring that back. Uh, third, well, the third in the list, I'm about to say third favorite. Third in the list, it was Trillium and Cellar Maker's Escape Plan. So my boy Rob linked me with this one out in Vermont a few months back. Um, it was like a, uh, like a tropical sour and you and like super murky look like juice you could taste there was a whole bunch of uh, tropical fruits in there you could just taste every single fruit it was out of control uh, and I think it was just like a one-time release so he just happened to be down there and picked it up very very cool next one Casey and Weldworks Trans Mountain Diversion so Tiff and I drank that with Troy Casey out in Glenwood Springs Colorado uh, while we we're out there um, it was the first beer for the podcast and it kind of surprised us because when he came out with hazy like a hazy IPA we were like I thought we were drinking like barrel aged sours here fam like but it was out of control and uh, luckily for us we got to try more weld works at um, GABF like a week later ridiculous alright next Rouge Rivers Brute Lee this particular beer I had at Bo's Oktoberfest um, it was my favorite brute of the year by far um, though there were some really, really, really good brutes that I had, but this one just killed it for me. And it's really rare that I would have a beer at a beer festival that would be my fave. Like it's, you only get samples, right? So you never really get to get into it. Um, everything I've ever had from Rouge River has been phenomenal. So this was exceptional. 
Uh, next, and this is the only entrance from this brewery on here, I tried to keep one from each, uh, Bellwoods Tangerine Milk Shark. Uh, Y'all already know that we're all over Bellwoods. Um, and that milk shark is my favorite thing ever. Of the milk sharks this year, the top three were tangerine, raspberry, and Neapolitan. So I ran with the tangerine for this one. It was exceptional. Um, it doesn't sound like it will be good. Like a f it kind of tastes like an orange Julius, if you guys have had that before. Um, out of control. And hopefully they continue the milk shark series into 2019. Uh, next one, no, I'll do that one last. Um, no, no, I'll do it now. Uh, this one is kind of, obvious uh, Sawdust City and Beer West Podcast, get it in ya. Um, you know, self-serving, but I really, really enjoyed the beer. I was extremely proud that we were a part of that beer. I love that they thought of it, approached us, and then went over and above for such a sick concept where it's all Aussie hops and they knew that we were about the haze and all that type of stuff. So, uh, super proud to have that beer and I genuinely love that beer. Uh, next up, Founders CBS. Now, this beer wasn't the first time it came out in 2018. By the way, all of these beers not, aren't necessarily uh, coming out for the first time in 2018. That I drank them for the first time in 2018. So, Founders CBS, the 2018 version, uh, we had that for episode 100 on the podcast, and it was phenomenal. Um, I actually haven't had KBS. I have a bottle right behind me sitting on the floor. Um, don't know why I haven't drank it already. I'm an idiot, but... CBS was phenomenal. I still have a couple bottles left, actually, of that first drop. I think they did it again, I heard. Uh, but I'm told that I got to drink those ones pretty soon. So, got to get on that. All right. And then the next lot are from Australia. So, this one was amazing. Sailor's Grave Peach Melba Pavlova Cream Sour. So, a pavlova, if you don't know, is sort of Australia's uh, n national dessert that we stole from New Zealand. Um, it's sort of like a meringue outside with like a sort of like a spongy, creamy inside, and usually cover that with uh, like passion fruit and other tropical fruits, kiwi and stuff like that. So they made that into a beer and it was phenomenal. I really should have brought some cans back. It was uh, out of control. And then for the last entry in the top 10, I made it a double banger, because I couldn't choose. Both are from Australia. The Mills, I can't believe it's not juice, and Mr. Banks, wheeze the juice. Um, I actually connected with, um, Chris from Mr. Banks and Merrick from uh, The Mill via Instagram based on our mutual love of hazy beers. Uh, they had those waiting for me when we got there because they knew that I was about that life and they were the first two Australian um, New England IPAs I had and both were phenomenal. I hear they got even better as the iterations have gone throughout the year. I had it in February. So uh, yeah, that was the top 10 beers of 2018 for me personally. Um, once again, like I said, this was super, super difficult to choose. I'm just going to really quickly read off some of the other highlights uh, that I had to, that were in the top 30, and I just had to like pick at least some sort of like variants, you know, so it's not just all haze. So I had a bit of pills in there, some sours and some darker beers and stuff like that. Um, other halves, short, dark, and handsome with coffee and coconut. Bent Hill, Imagination Over Existence, Weldworks, Quadruple Dry Hopped, Juicy Bits, Outer Range, Shivelight, Treehouse, Sap, Burlington Beer Co, Dazzling Gleam, Von Trapped, Hoppy Pilsner, Vox Populi, Season Pills, Trailway, Huge On Hops, uh, all of the Bar Canada Hyper series. Um, <coughs> it was actually a tough call between Hyper and then putting the pills in there, but I realized I didn't have a Pilsner, so I wanted to make sure that was in there, and that was my fave, but all of their Hyper series, out of control. Uh, Pit Caribou, Orvel, and Sutton's PAB, or PAB, I'm not sure if it was an acronym. Silversmith's Black Lager, a classic they've been doing for years, but it was my first time trying it, and it was phenomenal. Uh, Reservoir's Rhubarb Kolsch. Oh, yeah. Right? That was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellwood's Neapolitan Milk Shark. 12 West Cake Day out of Arizona. Hill Farmstead's Arthur, once again, a classy beer, but I had it for the first time this year. Uh, Big Shed Golden Stout Time from Australia. Hop Nation Jedi Juice. Batch, Pash the Magic Dragon, Passion Fruit and Dragon Fruit Sour from Sydney, and uh, Collective Arts Guava Goza. So, those were my favorite beers of 2018. I'd love to hear what you guys uh, have to say, whether you, I wanna know what you guys' favorite uh, beers were, so please leave a comment, hit us on social, whatever works, but I wanna know what everyone was feeling. I've seen a lot of lists from fellow YouTubers and writers and stuff like that, Shouts to Hobson Bros and uh, Noah from Beerism had some great lists. Um, 
But I want to hear what you guys think. Let us know. Guys, thank you again for all the support for 2018. It has been amazing. Uh, this year has been so cool for us. There's been so many amazing things. I'm about to send an email blast out with a bit of a summary of all of that. Um, you know, we did a bunch of collabs this year. We had our face on a can. Uh, we traveled a whole bunch, worked with tourism boards, just sort of grew the brand in a whole different way. Um, yeah, we're super grateful and we appreciate all the support from you guys. It's just been phenomenal. So thank you for everything for 2018, guys. We'll see you in 2019. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed the video, boom, smash thumbs up. Hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Ding! So you know when the new new drops. You already, I saw that. Yeah. Um, follow us on social media at BOS Podcast and check out the long form audio. Uh, the last podcast of the year with Bench just dropped. We still have another few more going into January already prepped and good to go. And I got a few more uh, podcasts locked in, ready to go. So great stuff always. Thank you again, guys. Have a happy and safe new year. Drink good beer. And as always, get in ya.